When I started at Apple, Steve's sister Patty was plugging the chips onto the boards on the coffee table in the living room while she watched the gong show. <laughs> I'm pretty much the person who built um, most of the Macintosh prototypes. There was just no access to technology the way we have it now. The Apple One was a watershed event in terms of price and capability and the average person being able to own this computer. The Pine 64 is um, an improvement beyond my wildest expectations. Introducing the Pine 64. The Pine 64 is a fully expandable 64-bit quad-core single board computer with a 1.2 gigahertz 64-bit ARM Cortex CPU two USB ports, an Ethernet port, and a full 4K HDMI output, the Pine 64 has everything you need to build your next project. Purchase the basic unit to run Linux or Android, or add on components to create your own custom computer. We're constantly developing new modules for the Pine 64 platform, such as a five megapixel camera, Bluetooth 4.0 and Wi-Fi card, lithium battery, or even an LCD touch panel, just to name a few. The Pine 64 also has two I.O. expansion ports, compatible with many other components, such as Z-Wave, Zigbee, and X10. For the price of a meal, the Pine 64 is a fully-fledged computer. It's versatile, it's modular, and it's uh, more powerful than uh, most of the competition on the market. We at OpenHub are excited about the endless possibilities that the combination of the Pine64 and uh, OpenHub can bring. So having really a board that works well with OpenHub is really a perfect starting point for many, many more users. And it means that smart home technology becomes more easily accessible for everyone. With access to over 1.6 million Android apps on the market today, the Pine 64 really can be your most affordable 64-bit computing platform. Run office apps, watch full 4K videos, stream from apps like Netflix, and play games or more. We're fully compatible with Android Lollipop 5.1, Ubuntu Linux, OpenHab, and more. Be one of the first to join the Pine 64 community. And with your help, we can create more modules and software to bring affordable computing to all. Would we have ever believed we would have this $15 supercomputer? No, I, I wouldn't have believed that. It's a big step just from the Raspberry Pi to the Pine. It's still hard to believe that it's so cheap.